Okay, guess what's just arrived? The new Wicked Lasers Ultra. So this is going to be possibly the world's first unboxing of the Wicked Laser Ultra. This is the world's most powerful DJ portable laser. I think that's right. Anyway, it's a seven and a half watt DJ laser that's, yeah, this is the cutting edge. This is possibly the first one in the UK as well. Uh, but uh, I think this is definitely the world's uh, first unboxing of it anyway. There's probably not a lot being bought yet so far. It's quite an expensive laser, but it is the best. It is the cream of uh, DJ uh, portable uh, battery powered lasers. So let's get going and uh, unbox it. So it arrived with, uh, as you can probably see, well, it's got that there. So you can see, so I'm not sure if customs have been looking inside it or something. I don't know. Uh, but it's been it was sliced open there, but we'll get to uh, cut it open. I have not even seen inside this yet. This is the first time that I have uh, say looked inside it. So we'll uh, we'll get cutting in it with the uh, the old uh, family knife. So yeah, try not to slice my fingers off. Do need it for DJing still. Okay, there we go. We have a cuppa, hold on. So it's definitely a bigger box than usual. Oh, than the, the previous lasers. You can see that's one over there. That's the one of the two watt uh, lasers, the USB version, uh, which is a couple of years old now. They have had the, uh, the two and a half watt Wi-Fi, 1.2 Wi-Fi and the 2.5 Wi-Fi as well. So there's the box, bit of packaging in there. Right, so yeah, definitely bigger. Two carry handles and a uh, handle for over your shoulder. Right, let's see what's inside the box. Exciting. I literally, as this came out, I was at the gym. I think it came out about half past one in the afternoon. I'd just come out of the gym, I'd just gone half, half one, and I saw it had uh, just been released. Uh, and I just said to the wife, hey, I'm gonna buy it. It was like, a, I think it was a Black Friday deal as well. So uh, I went and bought it. So I was probably one of the first people to actually buy one. Oh, here we go. So we got a, a manual. She's got nothing on the outside. Strange. Declaration conformity, blah, 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 and all that sort of stuff. Whatever, how to use it. I've not used a Wi-Fi uh, laser before, so uh, this is my first Wi-Fi laser. We've got uh, another sticker here. Already got one already, so I don't know why I need another one. Not very nice of them. So, oh, it's like a... This opens, oh, this, this pulls off this thing. So this comes off and, uh, yeah. I suppose you can just take it out when you were uh, doing your thing. So we've got two, three keys in there and uh, the uh, safety mechanism thing. Got the Cat5 cable. There. Got a couple of these, uh, got these with the last ones as well. These are obviously for uh, just tying your cables down and use cables. Got the Cat5 to USB C and like a spare lens uh, adapter or something. Well, that's for it's got, got nothing in it, as you can see. Oh. So there's nothing in that one. So We'll get to this in a minute. So we've got the main cover. And that one these before either. Well, there's obviously the uh, for the antenna. Well, there's loads of stuff in here, loads of stuff. So these are all loose, so they're not broke. So we've got the uh, 25 
25 centimetre focal, I think that is the burn, the burn one. Burn and pop, or the burn. Diffraction. Uh, we've got diffraction two, that was diffraction, whoop, that was diffraction three. Then we've got diffraction one, you can actually see there's like a, yeah, like a lot of, of things in that obviously make it many. That's a word I think. Then we've got the Luma one and the Luma two. I've already got them. Uh, then the other ones are new to me. We've got, uh, ah, so they should have been in this. So they're all falling out of that one. That's like a little, uh, as you can see, a little holder for them all to go in. And then we got uh, Luma 3. But all okay, none of them are broken. And we got the uh, the power cable, the C5 power cable. We got the uh, the top of the uh, mini tripod. Ah, this is something I've been wanting a bit, for a bit, should I say. So this is the expander. So I've not used expander before. Uh, but it will be useful, this one, definitely. Not sure. Does that go in the front of the expander? The, uh, over the... Ah, see, that's what it was for. So... That one slips into the front of it, and that, that makes it the gives it the expander. So it gives it, I think, up to up to nine times or something like that. Uh, but yeah, there's the expander. So that's that thing that comes with the expander. I put the put that on. Heavy, quite well built. That that's a nice piece of kit. I think they're about ninety euros or something to buy, but looks quite good. And it expands it nine times. That's great. And there's a cat five cable again. Bigger power supply because we've definitely got a lot more power co uh, consuming this, and then we got this baby, which is the is the cube itself. And look at that. That's a uh, yeah, it's definitely weighty. So get that out of there. And you can see on the back, got the uh, Ilda. Obviously got the. I've not seen that yet. This is the, uh, oh, I've got two, great. I've got two antennas. And then we got the uh, security, if you're hanging it from the, your trussing or whatever. Oh, even bigger antenna, looks like. So we've got the baby antennas. And then we've got the uh, big daddy antenna as well. So, I think we've got two of them. Yeah, we've got two of them as well. So, cheers. Thanks, uh, Wicked Lasers. Really sort of thinking ahead there in case we uh, we break one or lose one or something like that. Or you can leave one behind at home and then take one to your gig or, or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so. Yeah, great. Well, I think we'll just go straight with that one, actually. Straight in with that one. Stick it on. Well, there's any power to it, so we'll go back to this one. Yeah, so we got the uh, the older. This is obviously for the antenna, which we'll screw in now. Then we got the Cat5 input. Uh, we got the key. We got the uh, keep forgetting what it's called that, but the uh, the security power in or DC and the switch. Oh, we definitely got definitely got power there. So okay. So we'll stick this in. And obviously we need a key as well. Without this, without a key, won't work. So you need that in. And you get your key. And get it in eventually. There we go. So you usually power it on. That's it. You hear that? 
Uh, it's calmed down right now, so just uh, kicked in. It's definitely got a bigger fan in there. Yeah, and then you switch that on. You get two white lights. Yep, yeah, your green light, which means your laser is active. It's live, so you can uh, use it. So switch that off for the time being. Switch that off. So look underneath. So we've got the, so you can mount obviously that to your tripod, uh, to your mini tripod. You can also mount it to your bigger tripods as well, uh, which is what I was uh, a bit unsure about because I use uh, the, the large tripods usually when, when I'm doing gigs. Uh, but four good sized feet. And then we've got this thing as well. And it looks like this goes all the way around. So you can then mount this on top of your trussing. Yeah, I mean, you could obviously mount it upside down if you want. Or you could just obviously swing this round, you know, mount it that way as well. And so we've got like three holes, for, uh, I think they're all the same size. They look all the same size, so you'll get your, uh, your foot, fit it on your trussing. So I think we need to give it a test and uh, see if we can connect it to a, a phone. Oh, actually, we'll connect it to the iPad. I've never done it before, so we'll, uh, we'll give this a go. One thing that is missing, I thought they might have put in, is the uh, glasses. Not that it's a big deal. Uh, I don't know uh, how it goes with the glasses. I, I got some of the uh, the glasses. Glasses. Uh, I got some of the glasses for uh, when I got the two two and a half watt cubes. I got two pair of them glasses anyway. Obviously not worn them out, but I do use them when I'm doing uh, when I'm burning some wood and stuff like that. So uh, I don't know uh, if the special glasses or you can you know you can uh, use. A normal sort of type of sunglasses or a very high sort of level of uh, protection sunglasses but I'm sure people can tell me that any, any difference but I've got a pair anyway obviously they don't put that in with these anymore uh, obviously maybe a bit of a saving or people just you know want to look a bit cooler because they're a bit geeky looking I suppose anyway let's get this switched on and hopefully they'll be using this in a show in a, in a couple of weeks time so I want to be figuring out how I can connect this as well to uh, with the, uh, the USB uh, uh, laser cubes so I can have three running at the same time and uh, also uh, I'm going to pop well I will be going down using the uh, laser show gen as well uh, I'm going to get obviously get a bit of help to try and figure out how to work that properly I've not used it before I've got it downloaded on the computers uh, ready to go uh, because I want to do more laser shows where I'm actually the three lasers will be doing different things or at least the two outer lasers might be doing one thing and the central laser doing something else obviously it's going to be the central laser uh, so uh, I mean this might blow the other two out of the water so much that I'm going to have to buy another so uh, wicked lasers I might be getting in touch to get another one or two um, we'll, we'll see we'll see uh, not sure the funds can stretch that far at the ball, but we'll we'll, uh, we'll have to I'll have to see what we can do with gig wise. Right, let's get this uh, puppy running. Wi-Fi server must be. Yep, there it is. Laser twenty twenty join. Yep, we're in. Ah, yeah, we're in, there we go. How was that as? Well, so let's have a look. Let's, let's put on one of the... Uh... Woo, yeah, that is right. Let's have a look at the, animator. Let's have a look at the uh, dancers. They always are good. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. Let's put something that's uh, really heavy on the animations. So, 
down here in the Ilders. And that robot girl. Yeah, robot girl, let's just see. Oh my god, yeah. Look at the uh, Star Wars things. Oh. First time I've used the iPad. Oh. Seems looking absolutely fine. I don't. <laughs> Alright, jump For size, you can see that's the you see that what it's set at the moment. I'm just wondering, really, is it? I mean, the real test of this is going to be tested at night, that's when we're going to get the real test. I will do a side by side test as well, but I'll do it at night as well because. Just better doing it now, isn't it? Yeah, this is always a dodgy one, this one. This spiral raster. That's a lot smoother than it was before. Why the lands use that on quite a few in the videos? Flower swirl. Yeah. Okay, so that's me for this unboxing. I hope it's a bit useful to you. Uh, and uh, I'll see you the next one. Well, the next one will be we'll uh, we'll get the side by side. We'll have the the big daddy, the seven and a half watt next to the two watt, which is not far off uh, the two and a half watt. I know it's not that I've got the same scan rate as the two and a half watt pro, but you'll get an idea of brightness and, and whatever else. Uh, I mean, obviously, laser cube have done have done, have done their bit of pieces of uh, advertising, showing you it. But uh, you know, it's always useful for an independent who I've got no affiliation with a laser cube. Uh, but if they want to, they can do. Anyway, uh, cheers for that, and uh, I'll see you next one. Thanks. Bye.